That was a tough workout. I really enjoy training hard, running, weight training, climbing, whatever it is, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy about it. And a lot of people say to me, healthy body equals healthy mind. And I've always believed that and I still do. As we train, finish training, we feel that rush of feel good chemicals, the endorphins, and we feel good for the rest of the day. But I've also noticed a lot when, when I suffer from anxiety and my mind ruminates, I can be exercising, I can be running, I can be cycling, but still my mind is worrying. And even though I'm doing a physical activity, my mind is on autopilot. It's, it's moving into the future, maybe a meeting that's happening tomorrow that I'm worrying about or something that happened in the past, an argument or a conversation that just keeps playing and playing in my mind causing my mental health to feel down and depressed. I can't take it for granted that just exercise alone is going to take those thoughts or move me away from those thoughts. So I need to be practicing mental resilience, mental fitness, and it's not just in the gym. Yes, and I can gym, but I can bring my mind into what I'm doing and I can do my yoga class for somebody else and I can keep that intention the whole way through. But where is your mind when you are exercising? Where's your mind all the time? Are you mindful or are you mindless on autopilot? Even if we look at Olympic athletes, champions of physical health still suffer from mental illness and they have to recover. So we can build our mental fitness just in the same way that we can build our physical fitness. And I like to turn it around. Healthy mind equals healthy body. For me, that's better. Because if my mind's not healthy, and I know, I'm not gonna get out of bed. I'm gonna stay in my pajamas the whole day. I won't want to exercise. I won't want to go to the gym, and I won't want to eat right. It starts in the mind, and then moves into the body. So next time you're working out, bring your mind into your body. Work on mental fitness just as much as you're working on your physical fitness. And even in the morning, just doing five or 10 minutes in the morning of sitting practice, will then translate itself into your rest of your day. And if you can do one thing with, with awareness, well then you can do everything with awareness. in the mind and then moves into the body and many people don't have the time to look after their minds um, but always have the time to look after their bodies because it's this outward show and it's mainly due to the fact that uh, conditioning that to look after the body is more important um, it does show uh, if we are obese then others can tell that we are neglecting our, our, our physical wellness but no one knows if our minds, if we're neglecting our minds, well, until that moment, we have a complete emotional meltdown and lose our, our temper or something like that. <laughs> so why not combine physical exercise with mental exercise, like a double whammy of fitness, mental and physical. But let, let's, let's not think that, that if you are physically exercising that your mental state is covered by this. Not, not really, it does benefit, but not covered. It's a trap that people fall into. So let's look at how we can bring mental fitness into physical movements for that double whammy. Yoga studios and Tai Chi studios have been uniting the mind and the body for centuries. Great trainers are people who can do this for their clients. And if you have an hour of physical training, make sure that your mind is engaged too. So you, you get that both of them working together. So this is called mindful movement. And what is it? It might, it might sound complicated, but, but it's not. It's, it's, it's really easy to, to understand. And put simply, um, it just refers to engaging in different exercises, physical exercises, while placing all of your attention, or as, as much as you can, <laughs> on the movements of your body as, as well as your breathing. And for example, you, you can notice the weight of your body as you stand, as you move, 
how your back is feeling even when you're sitting down and, and you're working you can be mindful of your posture and therefore alleviate pain back pain neck pain etc um, and, and we overlook a lot of this our mind is often disconnected from our bodies so um, when we bring the mind and the body together then we can really max out on on peace and stillness and relaxation even in a stressful situation or a day of stress so being mindful in our movement allows us to participate in the full benefits of um, our movement experience, of our living experience. Our movement routines and activities are more than just physical when done mindfully. And we, we allow our minds to focus and engage and be present with what we're doing. The breath obviously supports our movements and our attention then helps us feel and appreciate the, the very subtleties of our actions. And moving mindfully is easily and best, most effective um, way to get the most out of our physical activity, because then we're doing that exercise right. We're not hurting ourselves. We can avoid injury, right? And we'd be more aware of our body and then rest and take care of our bodies when we need to, because we're listening to our bodies. Even flu and cold can be avoided by, by feeling when the immune system is, is running is run down. And then because we're connected to the body, we can take those preventative measures uh, to not expose ourselves to, to that disease or, or, or for it to worsen. Some of my favorite, favorite mindful moments is going for a walk or a run, uh, um, you know, timing my steps with my breathing to encourage my awareness to stay with me and not worry or, or, or get or think about stressful things and even at the gym I imagine that when I lift weights I'm raising up a person in my life that needs it right now moving from low to high and I, I sometimes fantasize that when I'm on the rowing machine that I'm rowing a large boat filled with people in my day to safety and a happier island you know I, I know it sounds like it's fantasy but this is what happens mindful movement even on a bicycle i imagine that my energy is powering happiness into my neighborhood it's a great affirmation of mindfulness and also eq training i guess i, I used to do cycle bicycle races and i do it with intention um, yoga classes are all about mindful intention setting and a great yoga teacher will exercise your body and your mind in that 19 minute experience while you are there. The worst yoga class I ever attended was a guy smoking in the class while he was in downward dog. Ah, how unmindful. <laughs> so yeah, let's move into, let's mindfully move into an actual practice of, of what it looks like. I'm, I'm super excited to share this with you.